Good Night Little Hair by Sheridan Kane. Under the silvery moon, Little Hare lay with eyes tightly shut, for his blanket he had the sky, and the soft hay formed his bed. Good night, Little Hare, Mother Hare whispered. Just then Mole came by. You cannot leave your baby there, he said. The farmer cuts the hay at dawn. But what can I do, asked Mother Hare. Where can Little Hare sleep? You should dig a hole, said the Mole. So Mother Hare began to dig. She scraped and scraped at the soft brown earth until the hole was big and deep, and then she carried the little hare into his new bed. But little hare did not like it. Mama, he cried, it's so dark and I, I cannot sleep. Mother hare, said Badger, who was bumbling along, you cannot leave your baby in the dark. But where can little hare sleep, asked mother hare. You should cover him in a bed of leaves, said Badger. So Mother Hare hurried, and she scurried, and she made a soft round pile with leaves, and then she carried Little Hare to his new bed. But Little Hare did not like it. Mama, he cried, I don't like the crinkly crackly noise my new bed makes. Blackbird heard Little Hare's cry from his tree. Mother Hare, he said, you cannot leave your baby there. But where can Little Hare sleep, asked Mother Hare. What you need is a nest up high said the blackbird. So Mother Hare placed Little Hare in an empty bird's nest, but Little Hare did not like it. Mama, he cried looking down, it's high up here and I might fall out. So Mother Hare carried Little Hare down again. She did not know what to do. Oh dear, she sighed, how can I find the right bed for Little Hare? Owl was watching from his perch. Don't you remember how your mother kept you safe when you were young, he said. Mother Hare remembered how the sky had been her blanket and the soft golden hay had been her head bed. She remembered how from dusk to dawn her mother had watched over her. The sun was just rising and Mother Hare's eyes became bright and the farmer had come early and the hay was cut and it was quite safe there now. So Mother Hare carried Little Hare back to his old bed and lay him down gently. Mama, said Little Hare, this is my own bed and I like it. Then everyone whispered, good night, Little Hare. The end.